Time podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, are you familiar with Dave and Buster's? Yeah, yo, didn't look, man. I want to just bring up a point. Didn't we go there for your birthday? Yeah, last year for my birthday, I, 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 I had a, had a little gathering at Dave and Buster's. Yeah, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna shoot this out to you because I'm a wingman. Look, <laughs> Jonas had a killer birthday party. This motherfucker had like. This motherfucker, I, I already said it. This well, motherfucker drank- <laughs> my, my, my I apologize. I like, hey, look, what happened? He had like f- like 40 people show up for his no, birthday party. Like you had 20, like 40 there, friends there show up. It was like 22. Up. You had like 40 friends show up for your birthday <laughs> party. I'm like, how do you have 40 friends? I don't even understand it. <laughs> I have like one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But uh... it's. And it's not even you. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh-huh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh-huh. You know, um, you. So, Dave and Buster's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun place. Yeah. Uh, so, like. It's a good time, I guess. You I know. mean, it's it, like. If I, you got the money to spend. I'm not going every every day, but like. Nah, it's expensive. Hitting up maybe like once a year for my birthday or so. I like it because you can go and you can drink and you can play video games. It's fun to drink and play like stupid shoot 'em ups and race car games and stuff every so often. I would say arcade games. Yeah, arcade games, right. Video games are a different classification yeah. for me in my mind. But I'm, well, yeah, because you're I'm not pure. playing. You're not playing video games there. You're playing arcade games. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. For sure, for sure. So. Tickets and ish. Um. So, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with games that are like the shoot the basketball against your friends. You know, the two hoops and you each start at the same time. You try to beat each other's score. Ski, okay. Yeah, ski yeah. ball. You know, yeah, where, you know yeah, yeah. games like that. Games the ticket of, games. Games of, yes, yeah, skill games. <laughs> okay, luck game. I mean, there's some skill in ski well, ball. Yeah, yeah. And the shooting the baskets. Okay, and stuff. okay. I'll, I'll so, give it to you. David Busters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I want, I, before I say anything, I want to hear what you have to say about this. <laughs> They've decided... Okay. That they're going to allow people Uh through their app to bet each other real money at their skill games in the arcade. Really? So, like, me and you want to play hoop them up. We can bet money on who's going to win. Tell me me why that's not a bad idea. Huh. How do I feel? Well, you got to be over 18. You obviously, have the app. obviously. Tell me, it's not going to cost someone to get shot in a Dave and Buster's. My okay, so my thing is like, if if I really wanted to do this, why couldn't I just do this in the in the store? You would just said, "I'm gonna bet you five dollars." Yeah, why couldn't I just put five dollars on the table? I'm already spending money now. Mind you, most money is not handled in cash anymore. Now there's an electronic trail of yeah. your five dollar bet with your homie over ski ball. Huh. Now the max bet is only ten dollars. Okay, and that's that's probably good for like the gambling fanatics out there. But the other thing is like like you just said like why you know they're gonna take a cut. Yeah. So why don't you just go there and say, "Hey TNT, ten dollars, slap it down. Whoever wins gets it all." You know, honestly, like if I were in like the the advertisement department or like the I don't know what whatever it would be, uh, I would say is that it would be even more beneficial for them to have a person there live that's like, hey, do you guys want to bet? You guys want to place a bet on this? Like the guy holding the money. Yeah. Like the uh, the uh, escrow. Or guy. even like like it, it feels so it's so disgusting and like scummy and like corpo. But I feel like if there was a guy at the at the hoop center and like two guys walks up and he's like, "Hey, you guys want to place a bet? You guys want to place a bet on this? Like, who's better? You guys, wanna, you know, he just kind of like out there hyping him up to fight. Yeah, kind of like builds a rapport with him. Hey, you guys want to place a bet on this? I bet you can't beat him. And he's like, "Hey, look, I'll be I'll be the you know the neutral person in this. You each of you give me five dollars and this start people to get the betting. Yeah, and then he's gonna be like, he ain't going to work, baby. The bakery ain't open yet." I don't. What? Where do they get their cut? Where do they? Oh, I, that's what I really want. Through the app, I'm sure it's a percent. I'm sure it costs like you bet ten bucks, they end up they get a dollar, you get nine. No, I bet you. You you're betting me? <laughs> I but bet you. We don't necessarily know. It, the article and, didn't say. Okay, so what I'm going to say is if if that is the case, then this is disgusting. Oh, I'm sure that's what it is. It's, why it's, would they do it disgusting. if they're not making money off of it? That's that's what I want to know. Like, why would they do even it? Even if Be- it's even if it's 
two percent. No, even, no, it's still disgusting. It, like it, it goes from zero to disgusting in like the blink of an eye. The oh. moment, like unless you're if you're taking one penny off of it, <sighs> disgusting, but okay. One penny, but like it's like I said, like I said, if it goes to disgusting, I automatically just put five dollars. It has to be worth down. their while. I've to never put it in the app. But the thing is, is that I've never gone to Dave and Buster's and thought, "Oh, bet you five dollars I can get you, more hoops than you." You know, it's really funny. I am not a young person. Yeah, and I've been going to arcades for my entire life. I have never one time even thought to bet my friend for anything in the arcade. Nah, nah, you crazy, man. You, 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 crazy. you, you bet someone in the arcade Yo, fa- I definitely put money on some Tekken Tag matches. I definitely put some money on some MVC2 matches. Are you kidding okay. me? Okay, all right, so you, you put money on, like, um, fighting games? Oh, okay. I definitely put money on Street Fighter games before. Are you kidding me? Okay, I, I never have bet in arcade nah, games. Fa- I'm a competitor, Jonas. At heart, I'm a competitor. I, I like to be good at games. I can't. I can't even front. Yo, you get me in an arcade, I will put some money down. So, do you walk up and pretend to be bad, and then say, "Hey, give me one more. I'll, I'll you know, what? Let, let's play for twenty. And then you're like, "Oh, I'm a master." Da, 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 da. Yeah, I feel like I've put money on DDR before. <laughs> I probably have not, but I feel like I would. I don't see a problem with the culture. I don't see a problem with the culture of betting money on a video game, you know, because it's just kind of like you're out with a friend. If it's five, ten dollars, that's nothing. Yeah, but but the app that's is friendly. the conduit you spoke about. It's just not the hype, man. It's just literally the means that like the winner's gonna. I think you you somehow hook it to the game so they know who wins and it just pays you so you can't like take your money back. Yeah, what I don't see is how necessarily Dave and Buster's gets a cut of this by promoting it and not appear disgusting because the minute you take anything out of it for your own pocket it becomes disgusting Any business yeah. that offers gambling takes a cut well I, okay so and that's the problem is because it is so much easier for me to just do it in-house with cash or through like a, a or like even a Venmo like a, yeah, exactly I was just gonna say through like Venmo or Cash App or something like that. It's just as easy for me to do it through that and not utilize your app that you're taking a cut from. In fact, the ideal how many of you at home <laughs> when you search something on Google do you skip past that sponsored and you, you go better you better not be hitting the sponsored ad. Amen. I swear to God, if you come to my house and you're using <laughs> sponsored ads on my internet so that just goes to prove my point is like if you make something where you make a dollar off of it or you make a a penny off of it and i have the option to do it for free and just out of fucking spite i will use the free option i might even not even come into to dave and busters with the intent to gamble but i'm going to use the free option just to spit in your goddamn face i will see an advertisement on an app and then go to amazon and search it on my own so to not click the link to get the money exactly bet (laughs) i'm all like ooh, that looks like a really cool thing Close out, go to a web browser, type it in, go to Amazon, type it in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, your ad worked, but they ain't, they ain't getting the money. Exactly. But also, for the company, they don't have to pay for my click either, so the company actually makes out. They get free advertising because mm-hmm. you pay by click. So, like, when, when I click on the ad, that's when, like, whatever company has to pay – Okay. So, like, by doing that, they still get the sale, and they don't have to pay for Now, the clicks aren't expensive, but... You know, honestly, Joe, I've never thought about that that, that that level of mental gymnastics, and I think that's absolutely beautiful that you did that right there for me. Um, (laughs) That's insane. That's insane. And this is kind of off topic right now, but I do want to discuss the fact it's like, I think it's crazy. It's like, we grew up in the cohort where, like, uh, we don't fall for spam calls. Oh yeah, or spam internet emails, or like whatever. We, yeah, we, but if we you look, came up in the age of like that being new, yeah. If you look at the generation before us, they they would fall for like a scam call, but I would never. Like I, if I, I'm not even the cap man. I'm. I apologize to any Indian listeners we have out there. If I hear an Indian voice on the line, dude. If I pick up the phone, I hear an Indian voice. I'm gonna fuck with you a little bit because I don't believe you're real. <laughs> One day, one day, a guy called me and literally said that he needed me to log on to my Windows so yep. I could verify my yep. security settings yeah. for him. And I was like, who are you? Yeah. He's like, I'm calling from Microsoft. I'm yeah. calling to verify your security settings. And I'm like, scam, I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? And then he was like, I just need you to get on your. And I'm like, why are you yelling? I just what? What is uh, happening? He just hangs up. And I'm yeah. like, 
I'm like, this is insane. And then you got my grandma who's like, yeah, sure, I'll give you my credit card number. Like, Hey, Joe, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, I advise people to look, look at some Kit Boga. That is the is YouTube. Is that the guy who messes with the scammers? That's the uh. YouTuber. You've seen clips of him with like the large sunglasses on. I've watched a couple of his videos. They're Yo, very good. They're, they're very long, good. but they're very good. They're very good. He gets those guys so mad. Yeah. Oh, my God, how mad they, it, they get him, dude. And honestly, I feel like I've been educated. I will never fall for a scam. I, I've heard so many of the like the dialogues and the scripts that they go through. I will well, never Well, here's fall. the other thing, dude, never. and then we'll wrap it up because we're at time. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like I don't understand. It's very much a true thing in the world. If it seems too good to be true, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Now, there's always an exception. But, like, it even goes, like, you know what I mean? If somebody calls you and they're like, hey, you want a million dollars, but you just got to give me 500 first. Why would they, why would you get that? Why is that for you? Like, and it, so, so it's like, but people fall for that stuff. Like, oh, this, the prince from Egypt wants me to. Yeah. So, like I said, like, uh, the cohort before us, they fall for scam calls. We don't fall for that. I feel like the next step is that, is the whole AI factor. Oh, that's going to be wild. Yeah. The where, voice intimidation. Where the next cohort, they won't necessarily fall for that. Because the scams are all the same. The scams move along with technology, but like the Zennials, they ain't going to fall oh, well, for AI. And, and I, you can still get me with AI. I thought that was the Pope. Well, and, I and, thought that was the Pope. And that's how I feel about like crypto adoption. People get scammed right now, mm -hmm. but the kids that use crypto because they're into it, they ain't gonna get scammed by crypto scams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, give it a give it a decade. They're gonna be like, I've seen that crypto scam a million times. I ain't hooking my wallet to that random app. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm like my grandma. Like, oh, what's this? Clicky dicky, get a free NFT. Like, in, not me. I mean, I is know that, better. Is that what you do? No, absolutely not. <laughs> you just get you know, but people do that. Maybe. Oh, free airdrop of 10 million coins? Uh, yes. And then all of a sudden their wallet's empty. And you're like, bro. Facebook is it's a cesspool. Yeah. So, anywho, man, don't be an idiot. Just be use common sense. If it's if anything that says free free money, hmm? go, go away. Like you ain't giving me free <laughs> go money. Go away. <laughs> yeah. And and you know what? If I miss out on the free money, that's on me. Because guess what? <laughs> ten million out of ten million, one of those are not giving you free money. <laughs> So that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thegracetown.com for Jonas. Oh, yeah. <laughs>